Hello, my name is Dennis Mercer. I'm a senior program manager at Microsoft working with the Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence Platform. I have over 20 years of experience in cybersecurity and threat intelligence, working both in the military and civilian sectors. I want you to imagine that you're a threat hunter or a SecOps analyst, and you've been alerted to a possible suspicious IP address communicating with a system inside your network. A single IP address would probably not provide a great deal of information for the analysts. But some of the questions that analysts would probably ask are, do I see that IP address anywhere else on my network? What systems or servers are communicating with that IP address? Does the behavior look like beaking that would indicate some form of command and control? Is there data leaving the network in that communications with that IP address? That single IP address by itself would allow you to initiate a block. However, this limits the response to a single data point. And this would allow an adversary just to move their C2 communications channel to a different entity within their control. As an analyst trying to triage this event, you might have additional questions such, are, such as, are there any finished threat intelligence articles that can be linked to that IP address? What other IP addresses or domains are linked to that IP address of interest? What additional information can I learn about this adversary? Without some form of threat intelligence, and an analyst would be searching for the proverbial black box in a dark room wearing sunglasses. In this video, I will discuss a method for using Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence to illuminate that room and allow an analyst to uncover previously unknown relationships in a technique known as infrastructure chaining. Infrastructure chaining is used to investigate the relationship between connected data sets, which allows an analyst to develop an investigation into events or incidents on their network. Now, what I'm going to show you now is the landing page for Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence, also known as MDTI. Here I'm going to start with an IP address of interest, in this case here 45.9.148.108. And right off the bat, when we search, we're going to see that there is a reputation score for this IP address of malicious. We can also see a little bit further down that there are two threat intelligence articles associated with this IP address. And now I'm going to take a quick look at the first article. This article discusses NICE VPS, also known as NICE IT Services. NICE IT has been registering domains in their name and leasing those domains out, which is an attempt to obfuscate the true owner of that domain. In the article, we can see there are two threat groups that have been noted for using NICE VPS, Cosmic Link and Team TNT. Now, if we continue to read the article, a little bit further down, we're going to see that there is a reference to IP addresses of interest. Right here is our IP address of interest. And we note that it's been associated with Team TNT in their crypto jacking activities. We can also see that there are some domains that have been associated with Team TNT. And I'm going to pivot on this first article, or excuse me, on this first uh, domain in the article. Right here on the summary page, we can see that Team TNT also has a reputation score of malicious. Now, focusing on Team TNT, I'm going to switch to the data tab. And right here, we can see that there are 15 IP addresses that are or at one point have resolved that domain, including our IP address of interest. We can also see that the current IP address that's resolving to tmtnt.red is 172.105.27.61. Now this provides a great deal of information that we can still continue to pivot on. So right now I want to focus, still focusing on the domain of interest, I want to go to the components tab. Components are details describing the web page or server infrastructure that are gathered during a crawl or scan of an IP address. One of those components that's caught my attention, and that is this uh, TMTNT with a tracking pixel right here of IPLogger.org. Now, based on prior research, I know that IPLogger is a site used by adversaries to create addresses and location tracking as well as methods for obfuscating URLs by shortening that URL. Now, still focusing on tntnt.red, I want to go and switch to the trackers. Trackers are unique codes or values found, with the, found within a web page that are used to track a user's interaction. 
And here I can see that there are five unique and different trackers for IP logger. Now, continuing to focus on Team TNT that red, I'm going to switch to the host pairs. Host pairs are uh, show the relationship between two hosts, a parent and a child, that have or sh currently share a connection observed in, during the crawl. When viewing these host pair relationships, users should interpret the data, whereas a host leads to the child. And here we can see Team TNT leads to IPLogger.org. Now I'm going to pivot to IPLogger.org. And again, we can see that the reputation score for IPLogger.org is malicious. When we come down, I can see that there are three Threat Intel articles associated with IPLogger. The third article discusses TNTNT Docker images offline. Since we're still focusing on TNTNT, I'm going to select this article. Selecting this article, we can see a quick description of the uh, information we're looking for, but we can also see that there's 15 public indicators uh, that we can pivot on and continue to search a network on. These public indicators have a few different additional indicators that were not listed in the NICE VPS Bulletproof Hosting article. And this is to be expected since the first article was talking about the hosting provider rather than TMT Actor Group. Additionally, we could pivot on the reference URL and I've taken a screenshot of that and we can see that they also reference that uh, TMTNT uses IPLogger.org to track users, uh, in, users uh, interactions with their site. So we can see how Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence unifies different data sets into a single platform, which allows an analyst to have actual threat intelligence with reputation scores and data sets that you can pivot on and discover additional adversary infrastructure. Using MDTI, your analysts are now equipped to effectively hunt their network, detect previously unknown adversaries, contain their activity, and eradicate them from the organization's network. Thank you for your time for watching this quick video. If you have any questions, please contact me, Dennis Mercer, at Microsoft.com.